HANA Cloud for Presto is a Presto managed service which runs on the AWS platform. Ahana has created a SaaS solution which provides Presto. Presto runs within your AWS account. Your data never leaves your account. The Presto cluster, which is stood up on Amazon EKS or Elastic Kubernetes Service, is managed by Ahana. All the management of the clusters which you create and configure are done through the Ahana Cloud UI, which runs within the Ahana account. And we'll get a little bit more into how that all works in a moment. If you're not familiar with Ahana, I recommend you take a look at their website at ahana.io. They have great documentation and a number of video tutorials on how Ahana Cloud for Presto work. If you're not familiar with Presto, specifically Presto DB, I recommend you take a look at the PrestoDB.io website. Presto is a distributed SQL query engine for big data. It was developed by Facebook and open sourced, and Ahana has taken Presto again, specifically Presto DB, uh, and made that available on AWS as a SaaS solution. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the Ahana Cloud UI. The Ahana Cloud UI, as you can see by the URL, is not running in my account. It's actually running in Ahana's account. So Ahana provides uh, an interface which we're able to create clusters, modify clusters, delete clusters, specifically Presto clusters. We can add and remove data sources, and we can configure our security. Everything is set up through the UI. Anything that we do in the UI, the end result of that is executed within our own AWS account, which I'll show you in a moment. So I've gone ahead and created an Ahana account and I've set up a single cluster. So if we go to clusters, you can see that I have a demo dev cluster. We'll take a look at that cluster. This cluster is running Presto, again, Presto DB within my account. I've created a relatively small cluster for this demonstration. It has a single Presto coordinator running on an R5 extra large instance, and it has up to two Presto worker instances running on R5 2XL. I've also enabled the Apache Hive Metastore option, which gives me an Apache Hive Metastore that I can work with, and that's running on an M5 extra large. Again, these instances are all running within my AWS account, and it's managed through the UI, which is running in the Ahana account. Ahana has cluster scaling. So you can see here currently I have one worker node running, but I can have up to a max of two worker nodes. Again, this is a very small dev cluster running a very minimal configuration as part of this demonstration, but you can scale these up to meet your largest production needs. When you create a cluster, Ahana goes ahead and provisions a cluster. They also create and provide all the information you need to go ahead and connect to that cluster, including the Presto JDBC endpoint. I'm going to be demonstrating using the JDBC endpoint from within PyCharm, within my local IDE, as well as using Presto from the terminal or command line using the Presto CLI. And we'll also be using that in Apache Superset. So when you provision a HANA cloud for Presto, a HANA also provides Apache Superset. Apache Superset is an amazing service, open source tool. It provides the ability to connect to multiple different types of data sources to run complex SQL queries on those data sources, and then to go ahead and visualize that data using a number of different charts uh, and different types of visualizations. So we'll be demonstrating Superset as part of as part of the demonstration today. Superset is again comes with part of the cluster. Ahana takes care of setting up Presto, in this case Hive, and Superset as part of spinning up the cluster. I don't have to do any of the work. The only thing that I've done in addition to spinning up the cluster is I've created a couple data sources which I've connected to my cluster. So the first data source that I've created, and I showed that in Python, was a Postgres SQL RDS data source. Uh, I've set that up here, and I've connected that to the cluster, which means that Presto has access to my RDS database, and I can run queries on the data. I can extract that data through queries. I could load that data into Hive or into Glue, and subsequently into Amazon S3 if I wanted to. I can also federate a query between the data that's in RDS and data that exists in another data source, such as uh, in, our, in Amazon S3 using either Glue or Hive. I've also set up an AWS Glue catalog as a data source. So I've gone ahead and cataloged my MoMA art collection in both Hive and Glue, and I'll show you how I did that and connected that as a data source. My dev cluster, uh, which I've set up with, again, uh, one coordinator and up to two worker nodes. It includes Hive, it includes Superset, it includes a managed S3 bucket, which Ahana has also created for me, and it includes two data sources, an RDS data source and an AWS Glue data source. If we flip over to my AWS account, so again, 
when I was in the Ahana Cloud SaaS UI, I was within Ahana Cloud's account, so a typical SaaS UI for configuring your SaaS product. I'm now in my AWS web console, and you can see that I have a number of CloudFormation stacks which have been created. So how did that happen? The first stack that's created, and again, you have control over creating this stack. You're giving Ahana or delegating permission to Ahana to manage the resources within your account versus managing resources within their account. Again, provisioning resources in my account. I don't have to move my data to Ahana. Everything is gonna stay within my account. I've given permission to Ahana or delegated permission through this Ohana provisioning role, which is an IAM role that this CloudFormation stack has created. That IAM role has specific permissions, limited permissions to go ahead and provision certain resources within my AWS account. Those resources are primarily Amazon EKS or uh, Elastic Kubernetes Services clusters, which Ahana Cloud for Presto is running on. So every time I create a new cluster in my Ahana console, every time I create a new Ahana Cloud for Presto cluster, that is represented by an Amazon EKS cluster in my account. So each cluster is separate. Each cluster runs in a separate EKS cluster. It has separate resources, has separate Hive Metastore, separate S3 bucket, and I can assign different data sources to those clusters. If we go ahead and flip over to EKS, take a look, we should be able to see one EKS cluster, which represents the HANA Cloud for Presto cluster, which I created in the console. So as I created this cluster in the HANA Cloud UI. Ahana went ahead through that delegated role and created a single EKS cluster, Ahana EKS cluster. This cluster contains a number of pods. Those containers are running Presto DB and all the associated resources which are required to run Presto DB in addition to the Hive Metastore and Superset. You don't have to know anything about Kubernetes. You don't have to know how Kubernetes works. You don't have to manage any of the resources. All the resources that are required to run Ahana Cloud for Presto on Amazon EKS within your account are fully managed by Ahana as part of that provisioning role. Again, this is in your account. I haven't moved any data to Ahana. I've simply given Ahana permission to create these resources within my account and their limited permissions specifically to create these clusters and manage the clusters for me on which Presto runs.